Hey, welcome to another episode of Electrical Theology Esoteric Life Coaching. Thank you for joining me. Welcome everyone, I'm your host Charles. Welcome to another daily tarot reading where we look at what the energy is, what the consensus of the collective is, and specifically we look and answer on Friday people's questions who have texted in or, or who have uh, emailed me or got contacted me and want to know more. And so I will address some of those answers as well. If you uh, take this time, guys, if you will, real quickly, just like this video and subscribe. I want to increase the subscriptions. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> there will be links down below for everything, guys. I have, uh, I got my Ko-Fi button up there. So if you want to help support uh, me and my channel, uh, increasing, uh, getting better equipment for podcasting and stuff like that, you can go to my Ko-Fi or Coffee, however y'all want to pronounce it. I'll have a link in the description below there, as well as my Patreon, guys. I right, appreciate it, and let's get on with this reading. All right, we get the, uh, a man holding a gold coin. We get first chakra. We can't get rid of old Michael there, can we? And then goddess of the moon in reverse. Now, just off the initial reading is that somewhere in the past, again, because it says man holding a coin, it's neither male nor female to me. It's just more of the energy. So there is, you made a dominant choice in the past here recently to where you let go uh, of an old business, right, or an old financial partner, or something that had money, and you left that money, right? Uh, when I had all my centers open, it was making pretty good, and making the choice to shut them all down uh, drastically reduced what I was bringing in a month, right? But that was part of my path to getting ready to upgrade to a whole new life and do things differently, actually serve my mission here on Earth fully. And so for the first chakra, we've been getting this guy here two or three days in a row, right? I don't care how many times I mix the cards up and flip them, I still get this guy. Which is trying to get us to pay attention to first chakra. Now first chakra is all about uh, being grounded. It's about sexuality. It could be that the person you left here... Uh, you want, you're, you're leaving the monetary world and moving into a more divine... Uh, energy realm, right? With that root chakra. If you look at the chakras, it's not just earth-based, but then there's heaven-based chakras, and then there's divine uh, base chakras, if you will, octaves, right? So we're moving out of the lower chakras and moving into the, the uh, more divine or uh, spiritual chakras, right? We're creating and grounding within our spirituality. Does that make sense? So we're moving out of the physical things that we've chased and going into the divine things, not necessarily chase, but to join with and be part of. But you're not sure what you want to do yet, right? This is the goddess of the moon in reverse for me. And so she's upside down, so we're not really 100% sure yet how or what we want to do or what the exact details are. So this is where we can get into doing uh, planning, the planning stages. Uh, st uh, strategizing, and we'll see, because Michael, uh, or, or yeah, Michael with first soccer, he's holding a sword, which for me is communication, contracts. Now, because we are coming into Mercury in retrograde uh, on the 29th of this month, in just a few days, and we should already start to feel some of the effects of uh, computers whacking out, you're, you're miscommunicating, maybe having arguments when you, there shouldn't have been an argument, right? Uh, we definitely don't want to get involved with contracts. Again, I'm not a financial advisor for anyone, uh, but I can only tell you from my own experiences that when you have a contract and things get confused or lost, the copier screws up, something happens where no matter what you try to do to get something accomplished, it's, it's just very difficult. And that be being said, if you know that energy is coming up, then you just want to avoid any of those type of energies, right? Uh, try not to buy a car uh, during this time. <laughs> try not to lease a house, right? There will always be something that goes awry. And that's not to say that any time of the year anything can go right with anything, but it's just more focused or concentrated because of the magnetic pull of these uh, planets. So we get the uh, Mother of Cups, 
right? And so that's more uh, being about maturing or opening the heart, right? We're opening the heart. The heart for me is in the mind, not the chest. In one sense, it is the core for our beingness, but the divine heart is in the head, right? We can do a whole video about that some other time. If you want me to, leave, the, leave me a comment down below. But the uh, cups is all about emotions and it's about filling us up now. And that's part of the moon's dream is we got to fill ourselves with, with, with what we want now in life. It's no longer chasing uh, the physical things in life that we thought would bring us happiness. Now it's about being with ourselves and our higher selves and allowing our own unique passions and dreams and, and live those dreams, right? And help others, serve others. So we get the seven of wands right there, which part of this... Uh, grounding chakra of Michael is all about uh, security right now security in one sense is a falsehood it's an illusion in this world there is no such thing as security you may think you have it but you don't and a lot of times people will trade their security for um, or they won't trade their security for inconvenience or being uncomfortable or living their passion right but this first chakra, because we're moving it, we're moving the sexual energy in one sense. Not that we're get, getting rid of sex or anything. It's just moving our consciousness about what we want to create. If you're done creating babies, or if you don't want to create babies, men, women, whatever, then that energy that's not going to be used for that anymore can move up. Right, the creation can move up to the next octave of red through violet in the divine realms. Right? So we can create what it is that we're here, the goddess of the moon, our dreams, right? Right now, we just don't know what that is. But we definitely have the seven of wands here, and that's all about, uh, for me, is about courage, stepping into your into your life, right? Stepping into your uh, passion, if you will. Now, because we aren't sure what that is, we don't really have a, uh, a good organization yet, right? Because if you're not sure what to do, but what we can do is start. This card's telling me that it's time to start organizing, strategizing, right? We mentioned that a little early. So this is where you get the whiteboards out, people. Get the pen and paper out, the legal pads, and start writing down what you're passionate about. If you're starting from scratch, if you have a great idea, you've been working on it, but you're not, you're not sure all the other details, then let's put that up on a board and then say, uh, all right, what's our first step? What are we really motivated for? What are we willing to do and not do? What are we willing to uh, let someone else do? Right? What are we willing to release out of our control and allow someone else to do it that's quicker, faster, and better than we are at it, right? So we need to write all this down. This is about strategizing. This is a business plan, right? And we can call this a business life plan, right? Because you're going to live your passion where you're just passing your energy out to other people, right? So we need to get organized on that. Uh, this is what I did for a living is helping people brand themselves in addition, in helping them understand who they are through uh, reframing, through uh, cognitive training or uh, looking at things in different perspectives. We help them with neuro-linguistic programming. What words are they using, right? Are these words uh, helping them build or tear down, depending on what they need? And part of that branding, it, we did intuitive readings and coaching as well to really get into the nuts and bolts of why maybe they don't or they haven't done this yet or what's the best route to go. So we tap into that intuitive route right? and other stuff. And then we come up with names, stuff like that. But and again, if you want to read them for, for me, the links and descriptions, all that stuff's down below. Just click on it and we'll get in touch with each other and we'll do a personal reading for you, all right, or coaching session. So now we had the mother uh, of cups come in. Now we get the daughter of wands or daughter of swords come in. And that, again, is confidence. We just finished talking about that confidence. So if you don't have confidence, a lot of times confidence when you're wanting to do your own thing in life. One, it's a natural confidence. But when you want to turn it into a business or do it for a living or make money off of it or monetize it, right? Or maybe just work part-time and just do what you love. If you like to read for people, right? But you, you think you can't make a living, great. Keep working but do readings on the weekend, right? There's always a way around stuff. You just have to have the courage. And, and then taking a step out of your comfort zone and maybe taking a couple of days off and then doing readings, right? Then this will create confidence within the business side of that, right? Your internal confidence is there. You just tap into it. It's energy. We all have this energy. But I understand that not all of us uh, have the knowledge of how to start a business or create your own brand. Right? So that's what that is. We've got to get to the confidence stages uh, in our head and saying, okay, I can do this. How do we get confidence? 
we draw out a plan. We get our list out, right? It, it, rarely does somebody succeed who doesn't put out a plan and write it, writing it out. Now, some people can do it in their head. I can do a lot of stuff in my head. I don't need to write it out, but it does help to write it out and put it on a big board. And so what I do with my clients is we get a big whiteboard and we put everything in different sections and show how it's all tied together and then that helps them with their best step. So what I recommend is get a whiteboard and put the different aspects. You can do mind bubbles if you want or squares, whatever, but just say, okay, what's the core thing you want to do? Readings. Okay, great. All right, what do I need that? Well, I need some cards. Right, or coins or e ching or whatever you're going to use to read people right which is just really you but what do you want a tool like the cards or the the uh, bones or the th or farthuck or any other of these uh, type uh, oracles so when you finally go okay I want this so, and how many sets of cards do I want okay I want five I want an oracle deck I want this deck I want this deck I want this deck great right that's on your list now the next thing is how do I get clients well, just start telling your friends, right? Do you have a social media page? Right? If you don't have a social media page or you don't want to go on social media, but you still want to speak your brand, then just start telling your friends, hey, for one week I'm giving out free readings, right? And if they say, well, that's crazy, that's fine. Get a reading. See what you think, right? And if you like what, you, if you like what you're getting, then these, these are going to be my prices, right? Give that first one free, show people what you are, and that helps you build your confidence as well. Uh, when reading cards and getting to know the subject and if you need to know your cards and you'll you'll take uh, classes I have beginner beginner classes, but there's a lot of those online to learn how to do tarot right or pick up the book and the book will tell you and there's the traditional way if you want to learn the esoteric way I have videos going back about a hundred videos ago or so that uh, I teach you the esoteric way Using the universal template right, but for now that's neither here nor there All right, so now we're getting the father of cups right and this now is where you're beginning to get more dominant so we had the mothers come in the mother energy right that's uh, nurturing yourself getting the thoughts in that sense now we're bringing the father in father energy in which is taking action on this and that's why i say we can plan to get clients uh, we can plan to go on social media we can set all that up all those details right we're not going to go into them now that'd be a whole class and which maybe I will. That's part of my podcasting. You know, on my podcasting, I just put a new podcast up uh, the night before. So go over there and listen to that new podcast. Uh, but I will be having more on the, the practical applications of helping people brand. By understanding if you're doing social media, then what camera's best, what mic is best, right? Uh, and other things. If, you, if you're doing it off camera, if you will, then um, what do we need to set that business up there? A place to do it right do you want to get a physical brick and mortar place and do readings out of it or do you want to do it over the phone or zoom right it just depends so what I'm seeing here is an ending we get the death card right? which means there's a part of you because we had the man holding a coin you walked away from this energy so we need so it sounds to me like you're ready to do this right and so you have to make some choices here about what are you willing to do next and we get the daughter of one so we get a lot of the daughters and mother energy here and i can tell you that once this energy comes in with the daughter that's about uh being successful it's about being incredibly successful and that if you make this move have the courage bringing the creative energy to really focus and do a strategy on this right get organized in the physical realm and open up to your new heart, your mind, and as well as bring that old creative energy uh, that you were creating babies with and all this stuff. We, we can still have sex, guys. That's fine. But what I'm saying is the creative a aspect of babies, procreating. So now it's time to procreate your business, your passion, your divine baby. So it's time to create divine babies now, all right? <laughs> So do me a favor guys, go ahead and uh, look at those links in the descriptions, definitely subscribe, need more subscribers, right, looking for y'all, help me do this, and let's get this channel up and, and running even better, and then I have uh, links in the description for my Ko-Fi to help me support me there, you can go to my Patreon, become membership there, uh, I have a few classes you can go get on, uh, watch about the secret grid that I'm talking about, the esoteric grid stuff, you can go over there, to. there'll be links to moments on there. So a lot of stuff, and if you want a personal reading from me, there's links there too. All right, guys?
Appreciate it hanging out with me on this Christmas Eve, and uh, hopefully you have a happy holiday and a Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs>